podium, here is Australia. When the World Netball Championships were last held in 2007, Australia clinched the title in a nail-biting four-point victory over arch-rivals New Zealand. That was the highlight of my career um, back then um, and still is probably one of the best moments in my life. In the winning side were two sisters, Natalie Vomberto and her older sister, Laura Vomberto. To be able to play for Australia with your sister and win a World Championship is something that you know you just dream of and for us to be playing centre and wing attack right alongside one another um, was just you know I can't I can't even explain how nice that was. Yeah it's been an amazing journey really to, to watch them play for state league um, contacts, Thunderbirds and then both to be an Australian team was just incredible. Terry Von Berto is a former South Australian state footballer. He won three premierships and was last year inducted into the SANFL Hall of Fame. But he says it's his daughter's achievements that have provided the biggest sporting thrill and it's a journey which began as just a bit of fun in the backyard. We had a tennis court back at our other house and uh, they used to drag me out there all the time, when they, even when they were really little. Play netball, do all sorts of passing drills, defence drills, all sorts, and spend hours on end out there. And I always attribute that to probably improving my skills because Laura was two years older than me and could throw and catch a lot better than me, so she used to peg the ball at me. And if I didn't, if I didn't catch it, I'd get a blood nose. So I, I <laughs> learnt very quickly how to catch a ball, that's for sure. I guess Laura drove her to be quite advanced on what other kids were. Probably the moment I can remember the most is when uh, I was 14 and there was state trials on and my sister was going out to trial and mum and dad said just go out for the experience and I was like oh I'm so much younger. I was a lot younger than everyone else and I didn't really want to go but I thought I'll give it a, chance, a try and I actually went out and made the team. So I think when I got selected in that team um, as a 14 year old with a lot of 17 year olds I thought well maybe I might be able to make something of this. After following Laura into the Adelaide Thunderbirds and later the Australian Diamonds, Natalie was crowned captain of the state side and vice-captain of the national team in 2008. Laura has since retired and is being kept busy with the newest addition to the family, eight-month-old Jack, who's destined to be another sports star. His yeah, father is captain of the SANFL team of Norwood, James Gallagher. Natalie, meantime, is preparing for her biggest challenge yet, competing in the 13th World Netball Championships as captain of Australia. Becoming captain of the Australian Diamonds was um, just amazing. It's still, when you say that, it just does, it hasn't sunk in really yet that that's what I am. Um, unfortunately, it happened because Sherelle uh, McMahon did her Achilles. Um, but you have to take your opportunities and this is my opportunity and I'm really looking forward to leading the team into the World Championships. She's captained Australia quite a few times when Sherelle's been injured, but to actually be named captain of the Australian team, you just think, wow, that's my daughter. You're pretty proud, Dad, then? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Very proud. <laughs> The World Netball Championships have been held every four years since 1963 and of the 12 tournaments so far, Australia has won nine of them. Throughout that time, the trans-Tasman rivalry with the New Zealand Silver Ferns has grown significantly, especially after Australia's Commonwealth Games gold medal loss in Delhi last year when the Diamonds went down by a goal in a double extra time thriller. Can she deliver gold for New Zealand? She has! She has! The Silver Ferns go! Every time that we step out against them, we just want revenge. So I think World Championships this year is going to be huge and it's going to be absolutely on between the two teams and I think it brings the best out of both of the countries. I think probably the last three years has been the most incredible growth that netball has seen. Um, for us, being able to be live to air um, on TV has been huge. Uh, the games got faster, the games got more physical, all those things that make it, you know, I guess, a more interesting spectacle to watch. Well, oh, look at that. <laughs> Great vision. We travel heaps with Nepal. Um, last year, I think we were away three and a half months of the year with the Australian Diamonds. You know, it's fantastic to be able to experience different cultures, different places in the world, and being able to play a lot of Nepal. 
Despite the busy schedule, Natalie's managed to find time to complete a university degree and work three days a week as a dietitian. And she's recently begun a new project in collaboration with the Little Heroes Foundation. We've developed a school program that we go into schools for three days and teach the kids about cooking, um, physical activity, food experiments and just I guess get the message of healthy eating out into the schoolyard and you know you can really change a kid's future um, if you can teach them their healthy eating from and set those patterns from a young age. They're hoping to secure funding to roll the program out across Adelaide and eventually nationwide. But before then, the focus is on July and winning the World Championships in Singapore. To be captain of a, a, a winning World Championship team would be, I guess, the best thing that I could ever ask for. So for me, I guess a little bit more pressure, but uh, I just want to go out and enjoy playing netball. And I think when you're doing that, the result takes care of itself. So I'm going to try and, I guess, squash my own feeling of how much pressure I've got on myself and just enjoy the moment. A changing of the guard at the top of Australian netball. Our thanks to Catherine Ellis for that report.